My husband and I moved here in July of 2011, and a couple months after we moved here, we saw the Moe's pop up on the Galliard, and so we were kind of jazzed about that. We were there one day, and we saw this publicity, this sign for a salsa contest, and my husband and I both love making salsa. Well, we were so shocked that we were in the top three and well, you know, we were so surprised that we were in the top 10 in the nation, but then to have one of our recipes in the top three was very exciting. I saw the contest and I just entered and it was just, it was fun to see where it took us. A lot of the names for um, dishes at Moe's have kind of funky names like Joey Bag of Donuts and uh, gosh, and the Home Wrecker, and you know, just they're kind of fun and playful. The two recipes we submitted, we had If You Stew It, They Will Come, which is kind of off the Field of Dreams movie, and then uh, Quentin Tarantino is one of our you know favorite directors, and so we were just like, oh, let's try to you know, jalapeno kind of sounds like Tarantino, so I mean, that was pretty much it. So you know, we were just trying to be kind of clever with the title. I was a reporter in Texas. It was my first job I'd ever ever had out of college. I started thinking I wanted to give everyone a gift um, at Christmas because it was my first job, like I said, and everybody was so supportive. I was trying to think of a gift that had the Christmas colors in it, you know, and that was healthy. And so I came up with salsa. This one was called, If You Stew It, They Will Come. For a whole newsroom, I made jars and jars and jars of this salsa, and I put them actually in ball jars, oddly enough jarred it all up and gave it out to everybody and everybody just loved it and it was just something different. I think a lot of people are kind of intimidated by cooking or afraid to to dabble in it and it's um it doesn't need to be that way. Everything doesn't everything won't turn out perfect. Everything doesn't need to turn out perfectly. So many of the arts that our grandparents like quilting and you know those kinds of things that our grandparents kind of generation where they did and sat around and, and talked and shared. I think that's kind of getting lost a little bit. Cooking is one that has stayed around and you know we need to eat. I just hope that we have lots of memories around the table.